So one of the most common small business Google ad problems that we see across the board, bar none, is bad conversion tracking. And it's not just when small businesses set it up themselves. There's a lot of marketing agencies out there or freelancers who just don't quite have the technical expertise to get all the pipes talking. So I just want to make a quick video and show you how to double check your Google ads account to make sure that you're not double reporting, that you're actually reporting and that revenue is coming through on those purchase conversions. So let's hop into Google ads and let's just check this out real quick. So we're looking at a Google ads dashboard right now. If you're seeing something different, you might not be in expert mode. So go ahead and switch into expert mode. There's a prompt somewhere on your screen that'll let you switch over to it. You should be there anyway. Come on up to tools and settings and then select conversions. And I'm going to focus on the purchase conversion here and I'll make my screen just a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. What you want to look for is a primary purchase conversion, at least if that's what you're trying to measure. Most of the time we are trying to measure purchase conversions since that is where the money is, is coming out of the pocket and into your bank account. So purchase conversion, generally what we want to look for. In our case, what we're looking at right now is three purchase conversions, but notice the first one right here is a primary purchase conversion and the other two are secondaries. You only want to have one primary conversion per action you're taking. If you have multiple primary conversions, you want to make sure that the label here is for different actions on your website. But most of the time, you probably just have one purchase event happening that you want to track. So make sure that you just have one primary purchase conversion. Another way you can kind of check to make sure this is looking okay is you come over to these numbers, the all conversion and all conversion value. All conversions says how many times that conversion has been triggered and attributed to your Google ads campaign. But what's even more important than that number is the revenue value. So if this revenue value right here is almost identical to this number, that means you're not probably sending over any conversion values when someone checks out. It's probably just set to $1 or some other arbitrary number. If you do have a zero right here or zero in all your spots, then you're not tracking any conversions period. Nothing's coming over. The pipes probably aren't hooked up. But if you have this number and the revenue number right here for all conversion value is showing up and this is hooked up into your primary conversion action and you don't have multiples of them, then you're, you're in the clear here. Now, if you have multiple primaries and these numbers over here are multiple, that means all your reporting in Google ads is actually probably being double or triple reported. They're adding up all your primary conversions and that's what they're showing you. So if you do have multiple primaries and multiple numbers right here and uh, they are labeled or it's the same event, basically, you're probably double reporting, unfortunately. Uh, another thing you can do, a little, little pro tip here is hover over the status. And that will give you a lot more information about the conversion action, especially how alive it is. Uh, we can see here it says last activity is today and last conversion recorded is today. So last activity will update even if uh, the conversion event happened, but it wasn't associated with the Google Ads campaign. So what, what does that mean? Basically, anytime someone checks out on your website, this will get updated if all the pipes are connected. Uh, last conversion, though, is the last time we could attribute it back to a Google Ads campaign. So if your Google Ads campaign goes off the rail and you don't have any conversions in a little bit, you can hover over the status and see if you have activity that's recent that matches up with your point of sale system. And you can just kind of confirm, okay, the conversion is hooked up right. We got to work on the Google Ads. Uh, there might be a, be a scenario though where last activity was like a week ago, uh, but you've been selling on your website. Uh, that means the, the conversion action has been broken. You know, call someone, uh, or start investigating on how to get it fixed. So yeah, hopefully this uh, just was able to get you into the right spot to check to see if your conversion actions are correct. And yeah, as long as you're a single primary and you're getting that conversion value through, you're in the clear. If not, it's definitely worth uh, maybe reaching out, talking to someone uh, and just trying to make sure it's figured out because this is uh, this is important. It's, it's a big part of your business and, and good data means good business decisions. So yeah, if you need help or have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Also leave a link in the description where you can reach out. Uh, my name is Connor. 
And I run a digital marketing agency and we really focus on the technical side of these campaigns, which really makes all the Google ad campaigns just work so much better. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.